The overall goal of this procedure is to follow the distribution of endogenous junctional VE cadherin and PKM1 during leukocyte transendothelial migration under physiological flow conditions. This is accomplished by first isolating polymorphonuclear leukocytes, or PMNs, from the whole blood of healthy volunteers using a percol gradient. The second step is to add fluorescently labeled antibodies to a TNF-alpha stimulated human umbilical vein endothelial cell monolayer cultured in flow slides 30 minutes prior to starting the flow experiment. This will enable visualization of junctional dynamics of endothelial cells during neutrophil transmigration under physiological flow conditions. Next, the flow slide containing the fluorescently labeled TNF-alpha stimulated human umbilical vein endothelial cells is connected to the flow system and placed on the microscope stage. The pump will pull the flow buffer from the reservoir through the flow chamber into the syringe. The final step is to inject the PMNs slowly into the flow system via the injection port. Ultimately, the PMNs are visualized using a confocal laser scanning microscope. After a few minutes, leukocytes appear, adhere, and transmigrate. The experiment can be stopped at any desired moment. The main advantage of this technique over other existing methods like static transmigration assays is that with this technique you can study adhesion and transmigration in real life under physiological flow conditions. This will help us understand why leukocytes choose one route over the other, so para versus transcellular migration. We do this by visualizing the cell-cell junctions with fluorescently labeled antibodies.